Do you live stream on a platform like Twitch.tv? Do you browse the internet with display capture on? Do you bleach your anus? Then I have the video for you. Let me set the scene. You're live. You're browsing the World Wide Web. Display capture is on. You're broadcasting in 1080p because somebody on Reddit told you so. You are balls deep in the YouTube cooking show Black Hole watching somebody make like super tiny pizzas and tacos when suddenly an idea pops into your head. How about some Alton Brown? I like Alton Brown. Let's do that. So you control T and new tab and you type the letter A. And just like that, it's happened. Anus, big hole anus, taboo, stepsister, gang anus, sausage, pepperoni, penis, pizza, actual whole ass anus pizza. Suddenly your browser history is leaked to millions of people all over the world and you're the top post on live stream fails. Oh no, don't clip that. I don't know how that happened. Or maybe it's something a little more serious. Your name, your address, your street, your city, something personal uh, that you've most recently searched. It's happened to me, it could happen to you. I'm sorta of, kinda okay with leaking my own personal information on accident, but I could never really live with myself if I accidentally leaked something that put my friends, my girlfriend, my family in danger. So I, as a streamer, as a smartphone owner, as a technology user, I have a responsibility to protect my own privacy because the information that I store on my devices isn't just mine. It's the privacy of a lot of the people that I talk to as well. So that's something that I always need to think about. And so do you. When you're in just chatting mode and you're looking around the internet, you wanna be able to do it safely. You really don't want cached information showing up when you start typing things. As much as your community would love to know where you live and what you're into, it's way better to keep that close to the chest. A few weeks back, a couple of my homies uh, from the community showed me while I was live how I could take Mozilla Firefox and put it into a private mode so that all of my cache and cookie data was wiped on close. Stop. I know what you're thinking. But what if I use Mozilla as my primary browser? Well, I, sorry, I really can't help you. Um, I really didn't know that people liked waiting for their browser to update every single time that they opened it. Really though, if you're gonna browse the internet, in my opinion, um, especially if you're gonna be streaming and capturing it and broadcasting it, it's a really good idea just to have a completely separate browser just for that. That way, none of your accounts are synced, no passwords, no bookmark show, no history, no autofill or recommendations based on previous searches. You get the idea, all this personal information that could kind of give people an idea of things that you do, where you're located, that kind of stuff. So currently right now, I'm using uh, Microsoft Edge, which is an awesome browser. It's wicked fast. I can't believe how snappy it is, um, you know, considering the amount of personal information that they steal and sell uh, every time I use it. However, Firefox is my go-to as my private browser. So at this point, you're gonna wanna open up your Googles or your Ask Jeeves and figure out where you can get Firefox. Give that a download, install it, all settings default and open her up. So the first thing that we wanna do is set Firefox to always open in private mode. This is kind of the first big step. Um, when it goes in this mode, Firefox does not save any visited pages, any search bar entries, downloads, cookies, or any cached web content. So in the top right corner, you're gonna to wanna to click the menu hamburger button and select options. Select the privacy and security panel and click on the history section. Now, focus your eyeballs on the Firefox will and choose use custom settings for history. From the drop down menu, check the always use private browser mode setting. And once you restart Firefox for the first time, this will take effect. Now, just in case there are a few other settings that I like to change as well. So now when you're streaming and you're looking for Gordon Ramsay videos, you can open up your private web browser knowing you're safe to search whatever you want. Unfortunately, if your plan is to fuck up on purpose for a chance at some top of the subreddit glory, sorry, I, I can't help you. Remember internet, stream smart, stream safe. Harvest Cheddar's the best sun chips. Toodles. Echo, play that dank shit. Sorry, I don't know that, but I do have a skill you might like. It's called dank memes. Wanna try it? Yes.